The Colossus-wielding sorcerer's sister is one of the most popular X-Men characters, but her debut left a lot to be desired. We can say that the Mutants movie ruined the character of magic, and in this video, you'll get all the details regarding how the character was ruined and also about the standalone magic movie. The X-Men franchise has been one of the most popular in Marvel Comics history, from Wolverine and Storm to Nightcrawler and Deadpool, but over some decades, an unexpected character has won the hearts of comic fans everywhere, and that was Colossus's younger sister, Ileana Rasputin aka Magic. One of Marvel's most prominent and potent female heroes, Magic has been called a background figure that appeared rarely during the first eight years of the character's existence and was recognized as Colossus's younger sister. She's been a significant character in the comics since the 1980s and Magic has recently enjoyed an unexpected rise in her popularity. As such, her live-action debut was portrayed by Anya Taylor, who is known for The Witch, Peaky Blinders and finally in 2020, The New Mutants. Let me show you mine. <laughs> but sadly, she was only partially captivated by her persona, magic, and in other aspects, she failed miserably. The outcome is something that's genuinely weird and both fascinating and perplexing. What do you think of the change in her character? In my opinion, it could have been a little better. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section. In the 1975 giant size X-Men, Ileana Rasputin makes an appearance and her brother Colossus saves her from the moving tractor. But before going further, do not forget to like the video and press the bell icon for further updates. However, Chris Claremont's 1982 comic book Uncanny X-Men marks the start of her real journey. Belasco, an evil sorcerer who had kidnapped Ileana and taken her to the horrible and devilish dimension known as Limbo, was the target of the X-Men's struggle. Time is distorted in Limbo, despite the valiant efforts of the X-Men to save Ileana. She sees Ileana, aka Magic, as having spent more than seven years in Limbo, developing from a young kid to a teenager, while her brother hasn't aged a day. During Belasco's incarceration, Ileana and Belasco had a connection akin to that of an abuser and a victim. She's reassured by Belasco's image that, despite imprisoning and torturing her, he still loves her. In an effort to escape Belasco's control, Ileana attempts to acquire the art of sorcery, but despite her best efforts, she's unable to control the generative powers of light magic. Later, she transfers her life force into a weapon that she calls Soul Sword, and using its might, she finally defeats Belasco. However, during this entire process, she changes into a demonic shape. Ileana creates a portal back to Earth using her mutant teleportation ability, but she is troubled by the idea that the power of Limbo still resides within her. She makes every effort to conceal her pain, adopting a self-assured, playful demeanor to present a brave front to others. However, she secretly worries that no matter how hard she strives to be a hero, she will ultimately slip into darkness. In her own words from the book Magic, I am Ileana Rasputin, humanity's saviour or the means of its eternal damnation. She has imposter syndrome on genuinely apocalyptic levels. In other words, Ileana doesn't completely accept it until she gives her life to save the other new mutants in the iconic Inferno crossover. Death is never final in comics, of course, and Ileana eventually came back to life as a teenager. Her character had the biggest change during Brian Michael Bendis's 2013 Uncanny X-Men run when she transitioned from New Mutant to X-Man. The ancient and contemporary depictions of magic most recently came together in Vita Ayala's Labors of Magic plotline as she eventually overcame her trauma. It's hardly surprising that the magic of the comics has grown to be such a huge fan favorite because she's one of the most complex and interesting X-Men of all time. The New Mutants brings magic to the big screen. Unfortunately, the movie adaptation significantly diminished the magic's popularity. Anna Taylor is ideal for the character of Ileana. On the one hand, she not only looks the part, but she also possesses the versatility to convey both the rough, rebellious exterior and the delicate, insecure interior of magic. Taylor Joy gives possibly the best performance in the film, doing her best with the stuff that she's given, but in the script she gets to deal with, that same kind of effort is nowhere to be found. To begin with, Ileana is utterly unlikable at the beginning of the film. She's meant to be the movie's interpretation of the edgy loner with a heart of gold archetype, similar to Ali Sheedy's character in The Breakfast Club, but with mutant abilities. 
Her language is, however, more needlessly nasty than aloof. By the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell icon. She continually mistreats the main character, Danny Moonstar, sometimes known as Blue Hunt, and frequently uses offensive racial slurs. She mocks Danny Cheyenne origin by calling her Pocahontas at one point and using other disparaging terms. Ilyana has occasionally been caustic in the comics, but she never has shown any bigotry. After the first act of the movie, this thread is fortunately discarded, but it makes for a terrible initial impression and a genuinely perplexing artistic choice. To be honest, I personally didn't like their take on the character, but I don't know, maybe it's just me. Let me know what you think about the adaptation of Magic and the movie as a whole. But what do you guys think? What could be the reason for her failure in The New Mutant? Tell me your opinion in the comment section and let me know. Ileana's past was what really caused her problems. An important component of her character is removed because her relationship with Colossus is never even hinted at. In addition, a more realistic origin story, in which she was taken by unidentified captors, whom she dubbed the Smiley Man, replaces her Belasco abduction. She was transported by a youngster as a slave, however the nature of her enslavement is never made clear. It should be obvious that such a depressing topic shouldn't be introduced so nonchalantly in an X-Men film, and while the subtext of physical abuse and grooming was undoubtedly present in Ileana's horrific background with Belasco, it was handled with sufficient delicacy and sensitivity that it didn't appear out of place or unnecessary. The same cannot be said about the movie's interpretation of Magic's past. Confoundingly, the movie still includes the character's other supernatural components, such as the Limb and Soul Sword. The introduction of Limbo is especially puzzling because it implies that Ileana used her skills to create the infernal dimension in order to get away from the Smiley Man. It seems like the producers couldn't determine whether they wanted to keep the fantastic components of Magic's background or dismiss them forever, leading to an interpretation that is the worst of both worlds. There is no official news regarding Magic getting her movie. Ileana is plagued by old trauma, yet she's not burdened with remorse or self-doubt because of her link to Limbo. Furthermore, although Limbo is still present, it's not necessary. Despite Anya Taylor-Joy's best attempts, Magic does a horrible disservice to one of the finest written X-Men characters throughout the comics, despite her efforts to portray the bright, complex character of the source material. We can only hope that the X-Men character joins the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or MCU. Ileana Rasputin will finally get the better response, and with that, Taylor-Joy will have a much-needed second opportunity to revive Magic's character. Well that's it for now, make sure that you like our video, please share your views and opinions in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews and upcoming movies from Mars and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you at the next one.